Hello, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to convert a PlayStation 2 FAT network adapter slash Ethernet adapter. We're going to take it apart and we're going to make it instead of connecting to an IDE hard drive, you know, uh, an old hard drive that uh, the capacity may not be as big as you want or you're worried about the life of the hard drive, you want to use a, a shiny new one instead. So we're going to make that into a SATA compatible with a nice little part I have picked up. We're going to be installing that, but first we need to open this up and take it apart. Now, unfortunately, I seem to have lost the first clip. All the other ones should be fine. The, the first clip is just me unscrewing it, okay? So all visible screws on this plate, just get a screwdriver, twist it a little bit, and then plop it off, and then we roll right into the next clip. Here we have the power unplugged, now there are two little screws and a power plug that you have to remove and then it just comes out. Next, we're going to be wanting to take this part out. There are two screws right there that we're gonna be wanting to get to and then there's a little ribbon cable that we're going to have to remove as well. Okay, so the piece is now out. As you can see, the ribbon cable is sticking out. I did have to slide it out. That may be a pain to get back in, just uh, make a note of that you may want to get like a credit card or a gift card or something to help slide it in later next we're going to be wanting to remove this entire top piece there are springs underneath it if you push down a little bit and then slide it back it should come out with ease then you can flip it over and see that there is another cable that's in it and just go ahead and unplug that once we have all that taken care of, this is what it looks like. It almost looks like a shell. There's hardly any pieces left in it. But we are going to be able to install some parts soon. Okay, so now here's the new piece we have. Just go ahead and thread the ribbon cable into it. After we have that done, we need to plug in the other cable as well so we can actually get power to it. You kind of need to like loop it a little bit because of the orientation of the cable. Okay, so now I went ahead and I just plugged that power cable back into the top spot. I screwed in the SATA part, and then you just slide in the top. And here we go, the complete product. As you can see, um, it does stick out a little bit, like the orientation. If you wiggle it, like I screwed it in, not in the best way. If you move it a little, it'll be better, and then we have a hole where the power was. But, oh well, it works, so it should be fine.